beautiful moon tonight with a lovely ring of light around it. Hoping you can see that, it's quite beautiful. very very bright Hello Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. Nature abhors a vacuum. There is no such thing as a vacuum. It cannot be created in a lab. Perhaps when you get into space, the air gets thinner and thinner or different gases become dominant. But there is no such thing as nothing in our physical universe. If you try to create a vacuum in a lab, you are in the medium of air. Air is all around you. It's everywhere. It's the air that's all around the earth. So you get your jar or tube or vacuum chamber and you suck the air out. You try to decrease the pressure in here but it's also being increased over here. The air is flowing, or well not flowing, but being pumped and pulled and out to another place. While all the time in here, what's happening is you're creating suction, but the vacuum or the air inside the jar is doing its best to get back to that equilibrium of normal air pressure. So how can you take out the air that's already in here and replace it with nothing? It's impossible. Imagine if this was done in the medium of water. We have water in our vacuum chamber. We have water all around us. We do not have any air around us. And then we start to depressurize or suck out the water from in this chamber. What's going to replace it? Air will not suddenly come in and replace the water. The water will not shrink inside here and be replaced with a vacuum. If you're surrounded by water, the medium you are in is water, then you can imagine, you can conceive or perceive that if this was filled with water and the pipe was filled with water and the pump was filled with water, all the same medium, then trying to pull out the water that's in here is impossible because what, there's nothing to replace it and where are you going to put the excess water? <laughs> you would keep on applying suction until the pump broke or the chamber collapsed and everything reached an equilibrium. But what will never, ever, ever, ever happen against the forces of nature or the, the strength, should we say, of the equilibrium that the 
earth always bounces back to. You cannot defy it. You cannot overcome it. So, if we consider that in the medium of water, we know that water wouldn't be replaced with anything if you tried to suck all the water out of one chamber and leave nothing there. It wouldn't happen. So the same in the medium of air. You are not taking the air out of the vacuum chamber. You are just drawing out the pressure. As I said yesterday, I see that as a way of actually creating gravity. You can imagine the air as one body and you're, but it's like, it's like ooze or something. It can be stretched and pulled and manipulated, but it's always going to take up the space that it took up when it was inside the jar to start with. Nature abhors a vacuum.